um, we're gonna we're gonna let you guys uh, go against each other here. Um, I know nothing of this game, um, so uh, I presume one of them is gonna have to press start. Joe, is that correct? Yeah. Um, the fact that Tom's having to look where the start button is is not I a good start. PS3, mate. Um, <laughs> here we go. Joe's getting you ready. Um, now, one of you will be the yellow character, one of you will be the orange character. You need to look out for a thing that says go, and if that is the colour of your character, you need to follow the go symbol. In the meantime, figure out for yourselves and kill each other. Go whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's the fact the yellow one legged it and went, fuck my sword! <laughs> Also, what branch of BHS did they get that chandelier from? <laughs> oh, I'm back oh, on hey, the... Oh, there's a go symbol up in the... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this feels quite gratuitous now. I'm trying. <laughs> yellow needs to run that way. Who is yellow, by the way? Me. All right. Oh, well. Oh, shit. <laughs> That cobweb in that corner, someone needs to dust. Oh! Run, Tom. Oh, Keep running, Tom. I've got him on the right roll here. Oh. I don't know how long this goes on for, by the way. This might be the whole hour. Other than... Oh, that... Uh, crafty, crafty. Apologies. <laughs> That's the most friendly gamer smack talk ever. Stop killing me. Apologies. <laughs> if only that happened when you're playing Call of Duty, the world would be a better place. Is it me or am I absolutely hammering you then? Is that... Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch these. Oh. <laughs> easy, easy. Oi. Oh. 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 <laughs> Feel the actual tension in the room then. I climb up this or anything? <laughs> it's worth checking, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, I should have just run right, shouldn't I? Actually, went back to finish it off. <laughs> oh, final screen! And it's like some kind of nightmare of when I was on LSD in my teens. Oh, just keep going for me, an idiot! You done it again. <laughs> oh, it's one of the backgrounds from when one of the bands were playing on The Word. It's a very niche reference. Well done if you laugh. Good work. You're at least in your 30s. <laughs> just throw your sword at her in mid-air. Oh. 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 Keep run, run! <laughs> <laughs> Remember which buttons jump? <laughs> oh shit! I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away! <laughs> Yay! Woo Oh, I like this. I like the fact that you get your own parade like at the end of Star Wars. That's quite good. It's a total fix. <laughs> Whoop. Oh. Oh. Well done. Tom is the winner. <laughs> Kills and suicides. That's good. It's like normal That's man in like American the, school. Um... <laughs> so I didn't say that out loud. You didn't hear that. Um, good. Um, well done both. Uh, there are more challenges for you, Kerry, don't worry. Um, um, what we're going to do in Edinburgh, we're going to ask uh, various comics to talk about games that mean a lot to them. Um, we have asked Tom in advance a game that means a lot to him. Um, I've made a few little notes about it just in case. Um, in my pocket here is Tom's game of choice. Uh, anyone care to guess what it is? Elite. 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to. I'm not going to limit it until you get it right. Um, <laughs> ZX Spectrum. ZX Spectrum. Is it but it was. It was available also on the Atari ST, the Amiga, the Commodore 64, and the Amstrad. Hungry Horace. 
Close, Jet close. Set Willy. No. You just said Jet Set Willy because you wanted to say Willy out loud, didn't you? <laughs> uh, another clue, if you don't mind. Um, football team. Football manager. No. 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 Could get on the spectrum, mate. Match day. No, but that was I had that before. This was better than Match Day. No, no. Was it better than Was it better than Match Day Two? Uh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh. I, I'm, I'm more than happy to tell you why. Um, uh, um, Tom, please tell us what you're uh, doing. Evelyn Hughes is international soccer. What? Yeah, seriously. There it is. Look at it. Look at it. Unbelievable. You think FIFA's realistic? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Look at that. Talk you through a few, few of the finer points. Um, it is. Isn't it beautiful? What I love is, you know, now there's like a big debate about who's going to win, who's going to be on the front of the of FIFA every year, and who's going to be on front of uh, Pro Evolution Soccer every year. And it's always like, who's it going to be? Who's it gonna be? it's obviously going to be someone like Pro Evo next year is Neymar, for example. And what they got here was, it was endorsed by a man who'd long since retired, who had a massive face. <laughs> that was it. Like Emily Hughes was a good player, but it wasn't like what's the equivalent now? Who would be the equivalent footballer of Emily Hughes to endorse a game? Because it's not, it's not like proper top. It, it's not like because Gary Lineker had a game out at the same time, and he was like but proper was top of the pops. Well, I guess I was going to say it would be like Lineker now, wouldn't it? You know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, why well, did you love this so much, Tom? Uh, well, because I liked football sims, um, mm. and this was honestly better than the, I played them all. And this was what was revolutionary about this was, uh, and you'll see it there um, with the uh, the action. <laughs> <laughs> Was uh, well for a kickoff, um, which I played that one as well. Um, you can see which player's got the ball because it tells you uh, to Dupont, Fernandez, and everything. Um, and that no one had done that before. Uh, but this is this is massive. This was massive, right? You could go on eight directions. You could go forward, back, left, right, obviously. But then you could go like northeast kind of thing, or which it might, you know, up and left at the same mm. on the diagonals, on the diagonals. <laughs> um, and you couldn't do that. But then, and what was really mind blowing was that with um, four buttons and a uh, fire button, with one fire button, you could kick it high, you could kick it along the floor, you could kick it mid-range, you could kick it forward, hard left, hard right, or on the diagonals, or back heel it. With one button? With one button. And it takes, you need L2 on FIFA for that. <laughs> <laughs> the problem I have now from playing too much FIFA is I will watch actual football and see someone curl the ball into the, into the top corner and I'll go... Well, he's held R1 while he hit that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I genuinely do it, because I'm a moron. Um, there was also, like, I, I, I did my research in this, and it does say on its official Wikipedia page, it goes, uh, it had it had eight-direction movement and passing, it was, oh, which was, that, was revolutionary at the time. Bloody was, yeah. Um, it was... <laughs> It was based on, and, and anyone who had a Commodore 64 might remember this, it was based on International Soccer, which was the first video game I ever owned. And it was on a cartridge that came with a Commodore 64 in about 1982. And I loved it when I was a kid, because it was in full colour, and you could have a team that played in orange. That was my main reason for loving well, it. Well, th this was classified as full colour. Well, I mean, it... <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is in full colour. Where is the streaker? <laughs> and if, if anyone did anyone play this seriously for any length of time because no. occasionally the goalies went mad and ran out uh, that was always fun or you could sort of weirdly nudge them when they were doing a throw in and sort of they'd ghost onto the pitch as if they were doing a throw in you know just little bugs <laughs> uh, I, got, I got so good at this game though you could, you could adjust the skill level of every player by a resolution of three three dots hmm. so each player had you know uh, shit, all right, or good, basically. <laughs> um, and I put all my team to shit, played on the highest level, which was 10, against a computer who had all three dots for every player, and I used to, that's how I used to play in the end. I got, I got so good at it. Uh, and it sounds like a boast, it sounds like a boast. Just reporting the fact. Can you remember, <laughs> did you ever play, did you always play on your own, did you ever play two play? No, two play with a friend. We used to actually video it and commentate as well. Oh, please tell me so, that so stuff it, still exists. So it exists on a VHS somewhere, me and my friend commentating whilst playing. Two, two players against a computer. That was amazing. Because we, we were able to cross it in and head it in. I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> you cannot do that on match day. <laughs> you cannot cross it in. Um, has, has anyone in here played Emily Hughes International Soccer? No. You, you have. <laughs> I apologise, mate. I've played it. <laughs> Tom's played it. It's perfectly acceptable. Um, what system do you play on? I had uh, Spectrum 48K, Spectrum 2. I, I had Built-in tape machine. Yeah, and I enjoyed this. But I, as I remember, 
<laughs> you were really snobby about that then. Oh, a built-in tape machine, not no, I was impressed, I was impressed. <laughs> Did you buy it from a case catalogue? No, I got it from, um, what was it, WH Smith. And I remember mean, you had <laughs> like, you know, your little rack and you'd sit down there with your pocket money thinking, well, I'll spend my one pound 99 on. When did you buy the ZX Spectrum? Was it in 1999? <laughs> 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 it, was, it, was, it was good, I enjoyed it, but it was, to me, it was always a, a, a pale imitation of um, Smash Day, Smash Day 2. Really? Yeah. Unbelievable. Come on, Tom, take him down. Well, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, in a minute, Carrie, you can come and do a gig at the Glee Club. You don't know, get <laughs> shit like this at question time. <laughs> These are the real issues. <laughs> just out of it, just, just by show of hands, let's see who, like, who's. Uh, right, most people know that like FIFA is amazing, right, and, and Pro Evolution is amazing, but let's do it by show of hands. Obviously, Tom's registered his vote for best sort of nostalgic video, football video game is Emlyn Hughes' National Soccer. Um, there's other suggestions, right? If you want to make a suggestion for another game, because I'm going to put one out here. By ra raising hands, whose favourite game from their youth, football game-wise, was Sensible Soccer? Put your hand on there. Good. It was good, it was good. Okay. I, like, I enjoyed the curl facility. The cur yeah, <laughs> curling the football in that ridiculous way was beautiful. Um, uh, Kick-off? Kick-off two. Kick-off two was good because it was less like playing pinball, wasn't it? Because it was the first game, if you don't know this, kick-off was the first game where you only had a football and you kicked the football, the ball didn't just stick to your feet and you had to then run after it in various directions with hilarious consequences. Um, anyone else want to make any other suggestions? You can't choose FIFA or Pro Evo. They're my only choices. Adidas Power Soccer. Wait, there was a button where you could handball it. Oh, yeah. Another one I'd recommend uh, on the Neo Geo is Hat Trick Heroes. It is terrible. Um, <laughs> play it just because it's fun and it's got built-in fighting features. It's like someone had designed an ice hockey game and then panicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is that the Amiga version? Yeah. This was a dream. I had a Spectrum. I mean, just imagine. Like, does anyone ever think this? If someone showed, like, if you'd have showed Tom, how old were you when you had when you had the, the game, Tom? Um, 14 or something like that, 14 or 15. Imagine if someone had shown you FIFA 15. Oh, God, it would have blown my mind. I mean, I remember when um, I stayed in one night with a load of friends smoking weed. Um, when I was about, in 1999, or no, FIFA, the first FIFA came out, as we know it, FIFA, mm. with the commentator and, and it being brilliant and everything. Um, and someone, someone had hired it from the video shop. Uh, and left it with us, and we played it all night. Four people against a computer. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and we got to the semis in the World Cup and got knocked out about half five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we're furious, so we have another go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, I still say to this, this day it was offside. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we won the World Cup in the end on the second time of asking. And uh, they were, it, it, we, were, we were made up, and our prize was you played a 1966 final, England v Germany final, West Germany, whatever, uh, with a heavier ball. <laughs> <laughs> that, was the, uh, that was the prize for winning.